Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another uh, Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough. This time we are continuing the Scarlet Keys campaign with Kumani Jones. Uh, we ended up last time in London. Uh, we managed to secure the Eye of the Ravens uh, key on, on Kumani. Then we got an enemy from the man in the red gloves. And uh, then uh, we are able to embark on searching the world for the rest of the keys. So uh, let's go through our uh, globe trotting part first. After that, let's look what I upgraded to Kimani's deck with the 4 XP we got. So, first off, we uh, traveled to Rome from London. Uh, in Rome, there wasn't much to do, there was just that we uh, went to. For, to see some artifacts and uh, there were some missing, so the disappearances continue in Rome too. Uh, we ended up getting a bonus to our next scenario we are going to play, so we start the uh, scenario with one extra resource in our resource pool. Uh, after that, uh, we decided to travel to Alexandria. So uh, this is the location of the next scenario we are going to play and it is the Dogs of War scenario. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and see what kind of changes I made to the deck. Okay, and here is the deck. Not many changes. I opted to remove the Magnifying Glass and Leo De Luca. Uh, Leo is a bit costly and uh, Magnifying Glass didn't work as I was thinking it would with Kumani. So instead of uh, Leo De Luca, I added Chuck Fergus, uh, level 2. Uh, this lets us uh, play some of our illicit or, uh, or, I mean, tactic or trick events uh, fast or few, with fewer resources or getting a plus to the skill test. So really good with all of our events. There are a lot of them. Then uh, to boost our fighting capabilities on those situations, we can't just evade. Uh, we have dirty fighting, so uh, while attacking, parling or attempting to evade an exhausted enemy, you get plus two skill value. So this also boosts our ability to uh, discard the enemies by evading them twice. So this is possibly good for Kumani. And that's everything I changed to the deck, so not much uh, changes yet. Let's hop over back to the map. Okay, so we are in Alexandria and uh, we uh, head to the train station and we are greeted by some uh, Scarlet Pottery agents that will take us to a uh, Citadel where we meet the uh, Claret Knight, but let's uh, get going. So I'll talk a bit more about the scenario when we see the scenario map. So let's get started. Okay, and we are set up here in Alexandria in the Dogs of War scenario. So uh, the map is quite big. There are seven locations. So we start in the uh, Quaid Bay Citadel. There is the Claret Knight in play at that location. We have the Light of Pharaoh's uh, key in play and it's, uh, we can use that in, during the scenario as well as the Eye of the Ravens. Uh, the Beast in a Call of Crimson starts from the catacombs of uh, Com El Shokafa and uh, we have these key locuses all over the map. Uh, the doom on these uh, subtract from the total here and in this scenario we are trying to run out the doom clock. So doom on cards uh, subtract from this total so in play so uh, we need to um, defeat cultists that have doom on them so that they don't subtract from here. So this uh, will be a, a long a long game uh, probably but uh, we are um, Goal is to defend these uh, key locuses from the beast in a call of crimson. Also, each enemy uh, gets uh, loses hunter and gains patrol the closest uh, 
key locus in play. And when there are none of these, uh, they have the um, key, uh, the claret knight has the key locus, so counts as one of those. So we have to defend the claret knight from getting defeated by all means. So um, we are ready to start. I'll draw my opening hand. Let's see, uh, we get the uh, uh, kick, the hornet's nest, quick getaway, nimble, Chuck Fergus and Pilofer. So I'm keeping Chuck and Pilofer. Then I will probably discard these or Mulligan. Uh, we'll draw, we'll Mulligan that. Okay, Grappling Hook, Thieves Kit, Chuck Fergus. We have everything we need basically wide from the start. So that's that's good. Okay, we'll just uh, shuffle after the Mulligan. Mm, maybe we'll play the Thieves Kit this round. Next round, play Chuck Fergus. Or uh, actually, we can play Chuck Fergus on our third action this round. Because if we manage to get the clue from with the Thieves Kit. So, first action, uh, we'll play the Thieves Kit. Comes into play with uh, six charges. So I'm immediately losing one of them. For the second action. So that costs us three. We are investigating five versus three here. Uh, I'm not committing anything. So, 5 versus 3, so we are up by 2. Uh, it is a skull. Skull is a minus 1. Uh, minus 3 instead if you are at a location with key locus. So, it is a minus 1. So, we grab this clue. We get one resource back. Last action, uh, I'll use the resources to play Chuck Fergus. And that is our turn. Enemy actions, the beast in the Call of Crimson will patrol to the nearest location. So it will patrol here. It will hit uh, four damage on this because horror will be counted as damage. So this goes here. So it's not broken yet, but it's nearly, nearly broken. Uh, we'll go to the upkeep, we draw a card, we get I'm out of here and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda, uh, and count card for this round is, it is the Scarlet Beast, so... Alert Hunter retaliates. Scarlet Beast gets plus two fight and manages to evade while it is at the local site uh, location. Okay, we probably want to deal with this, so let's see, uh, maybe we want to make this a bit easier for us by moving to a locus location to lower its uh, evade. Okay, so we'll take one attack of opportunity, one damage and one horror. Then uh, we'll move to... Uh, what location? I think we want to head over here. We'll, we'll probably lose this one. Then try to defend that one. Okay, we'll do that. So we'll move to... Here. Uh, second action, we will uh, actually, uh, as a quick action, I will use this to play the grappling hook before we move. 
So uh, this lets us uh, play a card from your hand at minus three cost, flip this key to the unstable side. So we use that before we leave. Okay, so there is one clue here. And uh, so we moved, second action, we will uh, evade. So now this has a minus two evade value. So we are evading uh, five versus so uh, minus three this is evaded now um, I'll just double check so when you uh, we can do a free engage action so we'll do that but it's still exhausted when you attempt to evade an uh, exhausted non elite enemy at your uh, intellect to your skill value for this attempt. If you succeed by at least X, where discard the enemy axis that enemy's remaining health. So we need to succeed by four or more. So I think we need to commit a card here. I'll commit the I'm out of here. So we are uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four. Uh, or we need to succeed by four. And we are against two. So, nine versus two. So we uh, minus. Minus three is the biggest minus we can get. So, minus one. So we discard this. And uh, so, uh, move, evade, pre engage, and another evade. And that is that. So. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Or oh, actually, uh, this is destroyed. It doesn't go to the victory display, so we'll just place it over here. And the doom goes away. Well, that, that's good for us, but bad for the scenario. And the beast will move next round to here if we don't move first. And uh, yeah. Now we go to upkeep, so we ready, draw a card, force the embargo, and again a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add doom, uh, we are uh, 2 of 12 minus 3, so we are minus 1. So this again will be a long one. Uh, then uh, we'll go to the encounter card for this round. Uh, mysterious chanting, so we'll search for a cultist. Uh, the beast is not a cultist, so we'll search for one. Spawn it at the empty location, and uh, we have to remember these also have a patrol. So we'll spawn it over here. And it comes in the play with one doom, so we need to get rid of that one doom. Okay, then uh, that is the enemy phase. We'll go to investigation phase, so. Okay, uh, we'll mark this enemy with these. And um, Uh, let's not put that here because we can't enter the. Let's see. Um, the way the catacomb is blocked, you cannot enter the catacombs. So the beast in colors cannot leave catacombs from if there is six or more doom on the current section. Okay, so we'll back up. <coughs> this. Uh, let's put this here. And uh, this didn't get any damage yet, so 
I forgot to read this card, so the beast can't leave here yet, because there is not six doom on the current agenda. So we have a bit more time before that uh, beast gets loose. So this is still in play. Okay, well, uh, that changes our turn a bit, so I think we'll just investigate here. Move down and try to punch this one. So, uh, investigate. I'm using the Thief's Kit. Investigating uh, 5 versus 2. It is a uh, tablet, it is a minus 2. If this is an attack, it isn't, so we succeed. Grab this clue. Second action uh, will move down over here. Okay, uh, when you fight an enemy while at uh, Sanetel Setat, you must either spend one action or increase the enemy's fight by two. Okay, let's see how we will defeat with the acolyte here or deal with the acolyte here. So, we could evade and Chuck Fergus could fast play sneak attack. Oh yeah, we uh, got one resource from the Thieves Kit. I think that's a solid plan, so we'll uh, last action evade. Evading 5 versus 2. Uh, minus 3, but that's still good enough. So this enemy is evaded. Then uh, we'll exhaust uh, Chuck Fergus to fast play uh, the sneak attack. So deal 2 damage to an exhausted enemy at your location. So this enemy is defeated. That is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions, we got upkeep, we ready up, we draw a card, trench coat, we gain a resource. That is that round. Oh yeah, there's one two here. And let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is a uh, key charge search. Each cottery enemy shifts each key they attach to it. Uh, no keys are attached to uh, coterie enemies, so this just searches, and it's the same one, so it searches. Uh, locus pulse uh, attach locus pulse to the nearest location with a key locus. Each investigator at that location takes one damage and one horror force. If there is no key locus at that location, discard locus pulse. Okay, so we have to take one damage and one horror. Okay. That is that. We'll go to the investigation phase. I'll use uh, Thieves Kit to investigate 5 versus 3. We succeed. It is a 0. So uh, then uh, we will. Uh, we'll gain one resource. So, second action, we will play the uh, trench coat. Now we have a better uh, evade and also damage soak. And, uh, hmm, what should I do for my last action? I'll draw a card. So, Eon chart, so that is good for next round. So, uh, that is that. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, old keyring, uh, we gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. Encounter card to this round is 
uh, beyond the pale. Uh, that's beyond the pale. To the location test will power three. If you fail, take one horror for each sex threat three. Uh, that's the location. Ouch. Um, after this test ends, if there are exactly three copies of beyond the pale, pay discard them. Uh, do we have anything we can use to boost? Um, I think I'll throw the Faustian bargain to this test. So we are testing four versus uh, three. So we're committing this. Minus one. So we pass. We don't take, but this still attaches here. Okay, I think we need to get out of this location now. Mm. We will uh, move, move. Let's go see what there, what there's to be found in the Windsor Palace. Okay, so uh, if there is a logos here, increase the cost of each item or ally asset you play by one. Okay. But there's one clue, proud of two, so last action we'll just investigate. And might as well get some resources, so I'll use this. Uh, six, uh, five versus two. Zero. We'll get this, we'll get the resource. And that is our round. So I'm just double checking what we can do with the clu uh, clues. Da, 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 da. No. I think they're just for these healing effects. So spend one clue test willpower to heal one damage from here, uh, plus one additional for each point you succeeded by. So we can heal these uh, key logos with the clues, but not at this moment because none of them have taken any damage. Okay, uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, calculated risk, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Uh, next round, uh, the beast in Call of Crimson uh, starts moving, but this round we get an encounter card, which is beyond the pale. So again, we'll just, just test, uh, now we don't have anything to commit to this test. So we're testing uh, 3 versus 3. 0. So we passed. So this still attaches here. F uh, first action, we'll go see what's in the bar's locus safeguard. Okay, the entrance to the office is secure unless the claret knight is the only lo key locus in play. Enemies cannot enter the bars. If an enemy would spawn here, spawn it in connection location instead. So we can move here. Uh, there are crowd of two, two clues. Unless the claret knight is the enemy, enemies cannot enter. Okay. Investigators the bar may spend one clue as a group. As a group, remove one doom from any location or from an asset you control. Any player may trigger this ability, so we uh, really want to start mo removing this doom from these uh, uh, key locuses. So that was the first action. There are two clues here. And uh, I think I will... Second action, play... Healer, and I'll use Chuck to reduce the cost by two. So we're investigating uh, seven versus two here. Minus two, we succeed. So we grab the. Uh, we would grab three clues, but we only grab two because there's no not more here. But we'll need these to start removing uh, Doom from the cards. Uh, last action, I think, let's check, so uh, a action investigators at the bar spend one clues per investigator as a group, remove one doom from any location or from an asset you control, any player may trigger this ability. Okay, so we will, mm, 
start removing the doom. Okay, so uh, just to check that I made a mistake because they, these doom won't go on the locuses, they go on the locations. So they won't re get removed even though uh, we, even if these key locuses are destroyed. So let's just start from here. So we'll uh, spend one clue to remove one doom from over here. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, lock picks, and we gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. So uh, this round, the beast in the cowl of crimson starts moving. So we need to go confront that next round. But this round we'll get uh, mysterious chanting. So let's just put one of these enemies back into play. Actually, I'll take it from uh, the encounter deck. Don't draw it later. Shuffling the encounter deck quickly. And we'll spawn it over here with one doom. Okay, that's uh, the encounter phase uh, the, or the mythos phase. So uh, we'll do an action remove one clue, uh, remove one doom from here. Do another action, we'll remove one clue, remove one doom from the here. And we'll do another action, remove one clue, remove one doom from here. Okay, so that is our whole turn. Enemy turn, this patrols over here. It's this for four damage. Then this hits this for one damage. And that is it, so uh, we'll go to the Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, Atycophobia, so after you fail a skill test, take one horror. We probably have to live with that for a moment, but it is what it is, so we gain a resource, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card is uh, beyond the pale, so this goes to our location. And uh, we test willpower 3 against willpower. Uh, we don't have anything to commit again. So 3 versus 3. It is uh, minus 1, so we fail. So we actually take 2 horror because 1 from here, 1 from this. So we are down to 3 horror our sanity left, which is not that good. Okay, we'll go to the uh, investigation phase, so let's see. We'll play uh, Eon Charge. And we'll use Eon Chart to get a remove. So when you would draw exactly one card from your deck while you are at Victory College, instead look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one to draw and shuffle the other back into your deck, limit once per round. Okay. One clue here. Then uh, we need to deal with this. So I am using this to... No, I will save that. So we will evade. So play, move uh, with the Eon chart, evade. I am evading uh, 6 versus 2. Minus one, this is evaded. We'll do the free engage and we'll evade again. And uh, we are in evading six versus two. Zero, so we defeat this, or this uh, enemy is discarded. And that is our turn. 
enemy actions. This uh, is destroyed by the beast, so we'll put that out of play. Uh, we'll ready up. We'll draw a card. Uh, I'll take that. And we gain a resource. So, um, let's see. I'll take that first play when you successfully evade a humanoid enemy or successfully investigate play an item asset from your hand, reducing the cost by X, where X is the amount you succeeded by. Mm, well, not that useful at the moment, but it has some icons we can use. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are another doom. So, 8 of 12. So, nearing the end. Slowly but uh, steadily. Uh, be a... Uh, bound in red, so if there is no coterie enemy in play beyond the red case, search. otherwise attach it to the coterie enemy with the highest printed health, so it will be the beast. Uh, attach enemy gets plus one fight, plus one evade, and plus one damage and plus one horror. So flip a stable key, you control to this unstable side, then discard bound in red and investigator at any location may trigger this ability. So, um, I'll do the ability as my first action. We get rid of this. Second action, we will move here. Last action, we will move here. This engages us, but we'll use the Ion Charge to evade. And we are evading 6 versus 4. I'll Play calculated risk. So uh, commit only to the test you are performing uh, of any type, and only in the, if it's your turn. Calculated risk gains plus one wild icon for each action you perform this round. So we did one, two, three action. So plus three. So this is uh, nine versus four. Minus one. So we evade, and that is our turn. No enemy actions, uh, upkeep, this readies, engages us again. We draw a card, uh, disguise, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are a doom. Uh, we are at 9 of 12. Encounter card for this round is Scarlet Beast. So at least this has a minus 2 evade. Now because we're at the local site. So I'm thinking using the grappling who we could evade. Uh, no. We have to do three different uh, basic actions. So first we'll evade, then we'll... Engage, evade, evade, no. Let's just evade, evade. Okay, first action. We will evade the Scarlet Beast. Uh, it is... 6 versus 2, minus 2, so this is evaded. Next we will evade the beast in the call of crimson. Uh, 6 versus 4, so we'll spend the... I'll take... actually... We play, uh, use I take that to play this guy as a fast action. Uh, because we succeeded the last test by quite a lot, so I think we get this for free. So play an item as you in your hand, reducing its cost by X, where X is the amount you succeeded by. So we were 6 versus. Okay, I think I uh, succeeded by 2, so I'll pay 1 for this disguise. It has 4 supplies on it. Just put, put these question marks here. Now, um, I will evade using uh, the disguise. So, 
so uh, we get plus two uh, agility for this evasion attempt if you succeed and the evaded enemy is non elite it doesn't ready during the next upkeep but it is elite so we just evade it but that's good uh, we will evade eight versus four Auto fail. At, uh, well, at least it doesn't have uh, alert, so we'll do this again with the disguise. <coughs> so evade, evade, a last action evade. Eight versus four. Minus three. We si still succeed, so this is evaded. And uh, that is our turn. We'll go to upkeep. These ready engage us again. So, oh yeah, we failed the test. We take one horror. Okay, we draw a card, a sneak by, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We'll add another doom. So we're at ten of twelve. So. Two more rounds. Uh, encounter card for this round is... Uh, it is the Coterie Provocateur. So it has... Uh, patrol nearest location with the leg K locus. So this just... is on this location and goes to... Hit the other location, but... Maybe we just ignore that guy. Okay. Uh, First off, we will uh, use this guys to evade Scarlet Beast. Uh, eight versus two. Plus one. So I'll put two uh, exhaust markers here because this guy won't uh, ready next up. Keep. Then we will evade again. I'll commit the sneak by. And we'll evade the beast in the cowl of crimson. And it is a minus three, so we're up by four, so it is exhausted. Just need to try and keep this guy on, uh, under exhaustion so it doesn't go on hitting everything and uh, I'm actually thinking of uh, ion charging and exhausting this so it won't go out uh, running this round okay so we'll ion charge so that is the last charge on the ion charge and uh, no, uh, first we'll do the last action engage, then Eon Charge evade, and we'll disguise. So that this guy doesn't ready either. Next round. Minus three. So it is exhausted here with two. Okay. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. One, one, and this readies engages us. So just marking these two here. And we gain a card. It is breaking and entering, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, we'll add a doom. So we are at 11 of 12. So this is the last round. Next round we will advance and the scenario will end. Unless we get a doom on the table. So, of course, well, luckily we didn't. So distorted reasoning. Put distorted reasoning in the play in your threat area. You cannot perform the same type of action twice in a row. Types include activate, engage, evade, fight, investigate, move, play, resource, and draw. So, 
Okay. Um, I think uh, first action we will evade. And I'll spend uh, breaking and entering to boost this to 7 versus 4 against a beast. So it is a skull, so minus 3. So we succeed. Second action, we'll move. Last action, we will... Uh, I'll just put three resources on this guy just for the fun of it. And uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. This enemy is ready. And uh, we draw a card. Quick getaway. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the last round. Okay, so this will be short. So we add a doom. We advance. So final stand. If this agenda advances by reaching its doom threshold, advance the act. So the storm rage stone doors batter and fun. foundation shake the key lotus of dim. You've stood your ground for as long as you can. Uh, weary and terrified that you have chosen an impossible course, you and your unlikely coterie allies retreat to the Claret Knight's office at the last line of defense. The mood is tense and quiet. Any movement you suspect the beast or its devo devotees will tear down the door and turn this chamber in a bloodbath. Advance the act. Okay. Uh, Knight's stronghold. Uh, but when the storm passes, you still stand, and the lights of Pharos is safe. Your host orders several of his agents to track down the beast's whereabouts, and you are surprised to find that it had split the city. We're safe, one of them says, letting out a held breath. We're finally safe. Add the, beer, uh, add the beast in a call of crimson to that victory display. Yay, one victory point. Uh, add the key locus in play to the victory display. Add each key locus in play to the victory display. So we get one, uh, two, three. So we get four experience from these. That's nice. And uh, resolution one. So the Claret Knight uh, talks to us, so we'll go to resolution 8. Uh, I'm not reading the resolution, there is quite a lot of text, but basically each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card on the victory display. It is 4. This isn't there, it was destroyed. Uh, in your Campbell log record, the cell aided the knight, and uh, you haven't seen the last of the beast in the call of Crimson. And the Claret Knight is the bearer of the light Pharaohs, update the camper lock accordingly. Mark three time in your camper lock. Who may embark? Okay, well, we got four experience, and uh, I'll do the club trotting at the start of the next episode again, telling you what happened on our travels. I think we are going to head up to one of the nearby uh, scenario locations, maybe Constantinople or Marrakesh. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see in the next video. So. Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.